Pay Agency Pro team. So we do have a new feature to roll out today, but I need you to indulge me for just a minute here because what we are rolling out, I believe, is so substantial. It deserves just a moment of reflection. When you started this journey with me, the whole promise of this Agency Pro collection of features and resources and trainings was to make you an agency, turn your side hustle into something bigger, scale it to a real live agency where you've got components of SaaS resale, you've got components of um, providing services as an agency to small businesses around the world. And the idea there was that you grow this into a primary source of income um, or something that you could run on the side. The biggest obstacle I've heard from you guys is you needed more support, more training. You needed to know how to do this. And a lot of you got stuck on the startup process. So I put some time into um, helping you guys with both of those things. So the features that we rolled out and that I'm gonna be showing you today are to help you start your agency today and then help you run it tomorrow and beyond. So I'm going to jump right in and explain what features we've put together for you guys. So looking at the screen, go to your agency CRM tab and scroll down to agency AI assistance. This is an all new set of tools. There's two of these. Um, the startup assistant is to help you start your agency. And if you've already started it, that's great. When you are ready to start a second agency, and by that, what I mean is, Hopefully you took my initial advice and you niched down. You've got a very focused agency. What this will allow you to do is very quickly go out and choose another profitable niche. When you're ready, <laughs> I have to stress that, when you're ready, go start that other agency right here within the same dashboard. Now you're going after two separate niches and you can continue to do this on and on. You have unlimited pricing plans available, so configure it just the way you want for that niche. And that's the idea here is that you can grow and scale this business simply by adding niches. So um, the Startup Assistant, we're gonna go through this. Um, what this is, is it uses ChatGPT um, through a um, you know self-prompting assistant to help you make all of the decisions that you need to start your business. The second assistant that we've created here is the launch um, agency assistant button here, which what this does is it creates a complete set of standard operating procedures documents called SOPs. We've already created 23 for you, but we also give you a wizard to create SOP documents for literally any process that your agency needs to undertake to service a client. Let's say you've got a core group of um, services that you provide. Now you're going to be able to step outside of those core services for an additional fee that you can charge your um, client. We don't charge you for this. I'm just saying if you want to offer more services, now you can do so confidently because you literally have an SOP for every possible agency service there is out there that will step you through exactly how to execute on that. And this is a document you can share with your entire staff. So let's jump in. Actually, the first thing I wanna show you because the startup assistant is so insane, I wanna save that for last. Um, let's launch the agency assistant. So first thing you do is log into your ChatGPT account. And I have GPT plus, which I love because it's, it always connects. I mean, there are very few times when it doesn't, but what I'm going to do and also chat GPT plus gives you like access to these crazy plugins, um, and a, a bunch of different, like even web browsing, um, models, but I'm going to do something that is default that way. It's the, this is the one that you guys all have access to, even if you don't have GPT plus, just so I'm not cheating here. I'm gonna show you actually what you guys are gonna get, the same quality. So on the left side, we you can see the new agency assistant. And only you guys can see this. Only agency pro people can see this. So if you're logged in as the account owner only, none of your sub users can see this. Um, even admins can't see this. 
So you will see the Agency Pro logo here. When you click this, you'll be able to jump directly into your SOP library. So if you're in a workspace for a client, you're writing emails for them, social posts, um, you'll be able to jump over if there's something that you don't understand. Um, but look at these amazing SOPs. Like you can create um, fresh ones here, but there's live streaming, social media audit. So now you can provide audits for social media accounts and specifically like how to set up and optimize every single social media account that we support is right here with just one click. So to set up a Facebook account, all you have to do is skip to prompt. There's really nothing to do in the intermediate settings step. So just click here. And um, let me show you something else that we've added with this new rollout. Did you see how it um, highlighted in green as soon as I click that button? You no longer need to click inside here to copy it. As soon as you jump into the prompt screen, it automatically copies it to the clipboard. So I'm gonna paste this and it will generate 10 different SOP ideas. And here's the idea here. What it's doing is it creates, the number one is always going to be, and be sure you read the instructions, click to copy this prompt, paste it into the chatbot to the right. The first idea will be exactly what you asked for. The others are related to your topic. So sometimes you might get lazy and enter a very generic um, task. And what it's going to do is go out and find other things that are related to that that you may also want to do or do instead. So maybe it's thinking, did you mean Facebook advertising setup? Did you mean Facebook messenger marketing? This way you can choose exactly which one and some of them get really detailed. Um, so look these over, make sure this is exactly what you need for your client. And once you decide, like I still want to do idea number one. So all you do now is click one and just like I told you before, it automatically copies the prompt to your clipboard. So all you have to do is just paste it. No more clicking in the fields unless you really want to do that again. So now it's got a whole um, SOP document and a procedure. So all you need to do here is click here to copy this and you can paste it directly into Google Documents and share it with your team or just use it yourself. Um, it also has references, very cool stuff if you want to drill down deeper. So that's all I'm going to show you about the agency assist. You know, actually, one thing I want to show you in addition is just how easy it is to um, create one using the wizard. Um, so let's say right here you want to say, I want to um, run classified listings. Uh, let's say on Craigslist. So it's going to automatically copy that to clipboard. So all I need to do is paste this and it's going to show you different ideas for Craigslist listing optimizations, for example, Craigslist ad budgeting, design and copywriting, different things that you can do here. So it's that easy to create custom SOPs as well. So now that we've done that, I'm going to close these all out and let's go back to the startup assistant. I'm really excited about this one. Um, as you know, we do have quick start videos within the guides, and this mainly replaces the second one, like in its entirety, but I would still watch all of them just so you have that um, kind of baseline knowledge that goes behind this. This kind of skips over the knowledge, and it literally just walks you through every single decision that you need to make. So it's done in steps. You really do need to go through each one of these steps in order and if you skip a step, just make sure that you tell the AI chatbot what your decisions were on the steps that you skipped. Because what you need to do with this is do it all in one conversation. And ChatGPT is really cool in that it has memory. So it remembers all the previous conversations I've had. So if you need to leave and go out to dinner, you know, after you uh, finish step four, that's fine. You just go, close everything out. And when you come back, just click on that um, conversation and just keep going from that point forward. It will remember everything that you had discussed with it before. And that's another reason I love ChatGPT integrations instead of just using the, AI, uh, the API um, because ChatGPT has fantastic memory. 
So I'm going to go back here and let's just let's start a company. Um, step one is to choose a target market. So not all of them have things that you need to add. And if you don't want to add anything, you can do it that way for pretty much all of the assistance, all of the steps. So what I do want to really implore here is that please read the instructions. It's different for every single one. So make sure you at least read this over and see what it's trying to do and if there's anything that you need to do to customize it for your situation. You never need to touch these check boxes. Leave them unchecked on all of these. And the only other thing I'll mention before we jump in is you don't need, like this basically doesn't use the company profile. The only thing it uses, and I'll show you here in the company profile, let me go help my son and I will be right back. One grilled cheese sandwich later and I'm back. All right, so in the company profile, since you haven't even started your business, you're not gonna have all this information yet. That's why we're going through this process. So just make sure the location came through. And if there's no location here, you'll wanna enter that. Because when we start getting into things like entity selection, um, the location is relevant. So um, put in your city and state or country if it's different than the United States. And that's it. I'm gonna go back and let's get to work. So for the uh, initial step in starting an agency, you need to decide on a target market. So um, let's see here, let's begin below. You can bias the recommendations by listing your strengths and resources. And you can limit the recommendations to certain industries, types of businesses, etc. So you can either just totally delete all this information if you don't want to bias it at all and you're just totally open to whatever. Um, but you can also tell it, like consider that, like if you've got a really big network you've already built up in an industry, put that down there because let the AI consider that in its recommendations. You can also limit it to certain things. If you're absolutely certain you love working with local retailers, then put in local retailers only and it will limit the selection um, of target market options for you to that particular um, set of recommendations. I'm gonna leave it wide open and let's just get to work. So as usual, it automatically copies it. So I'm just gonna paste that here. <clears throat> so here's 10 recommended target markets. We're gonna to need to choose one of these. Um, so local restaurants, real estate agents, um, let's see, let's choose real estate agents and just know that there's heavy prompting going on behind the scenes here. So it's going to bias the results towards what is most profitable, people who are in a competitive area, people who on average have been proven to spend more money on marketing. So we've done some of that prompting for you. So the people it's recommending, it's not just random. Uh, these are people that um, will likely do business with you. Um, I'm gonna choose real estate agents because in the past, um, they've actually been an extremely profitable niche. So what I'm gonna do is click two and paste that here to select two. And let's see what it says. All right, so as requested, here's a detailed research document on the target market of real estate agents. So what I'm taking the liberty of doing here is assuming you guys wanna take the next step and take a look at just the size of the market, just to give you guys some further justification for why it thinks this is a good market. Also, you're gonna to need to have this background information. So I would copy and paste this into your Google Doc, um, assuming you still wanna go forward with these people. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, see, they make good money per transaction. Here's the top 10 sub niches. If you are really ambitious, um, you can drill down into a really, really tight niche and if you do this, just know that you're probably going to have to start another niche sooner than other people. If you start a little broader, you'll be able to go deeper, spend more time on that niche, and just say real estate agents is um, enough of a, um, a focus for me. But if you want to, um, you know, you can you can drill down even further into additional niches. Um, so if you do that, just please tell ChatGPT. You've already told ChatGPT that you want to focus on real estate agents. So the reason I'm telling you all this is if you want to sub niche this out, let's say, hey, I, I only want to do it for um, commercial real estate agents. You would want to type that here. I want to focus on commercial real estate agents. And you know, I'll do that just so you know.
just to give you an idea that you don't only need to use the stuff that I provide you for prompts, you can also paste your own prompting, okay? So it's gonna basically redo this just for commercial real estate agents. Um, if you scroll down, as always, um, you have the additional option of doing refinements, like you can change the formatting to markdown um, and it will reformat it to, if you have a markdown editor. So that's it. Um, since we've already decided on a target market, let's move on. And it's kind of clunky, but you need to hit the back button twice within here. Don't use your browser's back button. Um, step two, let's create an avatar. So your avatar is the fictitious person you will have in mind when you're writing all of your content and marketing copy. Below, you can bias the recommendations if you only want to work with certain types of people. Example, make the avatar female. I'm going to skip that and just jump to my recommendations. I'm not going to limit it to female or something like that. So look over the recommendations, see which person that you feel like you could most connect with. Um, let's see here. We've got Karen Williams, commercial real estate consultant. She's 60 years old, uh, lives in an urban area, married with no children, um, earns $120,000. Let's choose Karen. The reason I like her, she's a little bit older than the average realtor. And what that means is she's less tech savvy and she's really going to rely on your expertise. So let's choose recommendation number six. I'm going to jump over here and choose six and paste that. So now we have our avatar. What it's going to do is go ahead and write the full bio on your avatar. Now you know exactly who to have in mind when you are writing your marketing copy. You know what their likes are. We force it to tell you what their dislikes are. And we also, this is the most important one, we force it to tell you what types of content that interest Karen. And the reason for this is when you're doing your content writing, keep this stuff in mind. You need to make sure these are included in your content plan. Um, so that's it. You'll definitely want to copy this. And it's as simple as basically copying this, going back. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. Let's jump into like a Google Doc and just paste it. And if I were you, I would just keep it all in the same document for now. And then, um, so you'll have this one really long document called Agency Documents. So when you're done with all this, you can save this, hand it off to your VA or somebody to kind of sort through. I would parse these into separate documents um, just so you have them available because each one of these is so valuable when running your agency. So let's bring back our session here. Um, all right, so I'm going to jump back in now that we have our avatar selected. Let's choose an agency name. And let's see, you can provide additional restrictions below. <clears throat> like let's say this, the only use case I can see here is, let's say you've already started an agency and you're using this to select a sub niche or an additional niche that you can create a landing page for and really target like a different market. I would use your same, um, your same domain name. So let it know, like, let's say it's already, um, you know, like getresults.com is what you're using. Tell them that you already have get results as your primary name. Um, and if you want it to be something that includes get results, um, then you could do that here. I'm going to leave it wide open because I'm starting a totally fresh agency for this demo. It's obviously it's going to use, um, that's really clever propeller. Um, it's going to use the idea that we already have commercial real estate as our selected, um, focus in our target market. So let's just look through here. Real edge is really clever too. Wow. That's, I really like propeller. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose four and it's not selecting it. Um, just, I violated my own rule and didn't read the instructions. Click to copy this prompt, paste it into the chat bot, and then it will give you a list of recommended agencies to choose from. So I'm gonna choose, um, let's see here, Propeller, which is number four, and it's not over yet. We always like to drill down to give you guys more options. So what it's going to do is give you 20 more, and it will always include in the first slot, we force it to include your original selection, but it's gonna give you 19 other variations to make sure 
that um, you're getting exactly what you want. And if you don't like it, click regenerate response and get 20 more. So let's see, these are all really good. Um, I still like propeller. Let's just, let's call it propeller. There's something about that that just kind of stands out to me. But this is where you'd probably want to go through and do a domain search. Make sure there's some kind of variation like propelleragency.com or um, propeller.agency. Make sure there's something similar and make sure there's not already a propeller agency focusing on the uh, real estate market before you go through and select this. Um, but for me, I'm still gonna use propeller and I'm just gonna say, I select propeller. That way it knows what your name is. Great choice. All right, so we're done here. I'm gonna go back and move on. So step four is to create a brand messaging document for the name and the target market that we created. It says, what is your agency name? I just wanna make sure, the reason I added this, I wanted to make sure you um, didn't skip this step. So it's gonna give you 10 tagline ideas. I want you to first select a tagline before I give you the full um, document. So let's see, oh, propel your real estate success. That is so cute. Um, elevate your real estate game. I love sort of new real estate heights is kind of cheesy. Okay, so let's say I'm not loving these. Um, I can click over here at new list and let's make it go way outside the box. Um, this one doesn't copy automatically your sub selection. So I'm gonna copy that and paste it. So let's look at some more out of the box um, ideas here. The sky's the limit, cheesy. Propel your real estate empire to new heights. That's also a little bit cheesy. Unlock the power of your real estate potential. This is kind of cute. All right, let's do this. Let's do number six. And what it will do is just go through and write you a complete um, document for that's going to guide your messaging going forward. So this will be really important um, for you to have and for you to provide to any sort of copywriter that you hire in the future, VA, anything like that. Um, so anyway, you've got your positioning and messaging document done, so let's move on. Step five is to create your website copy. So this task creates website copy that is designed to replace the copy in the website that we provided you with. Um, as you know, every Agency Pro subscriber gets their own website, um, but I always encourage you to change the copy up a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna leave the field below empty and proceed just like it's instructing me to do. And let's follow the instructions. Click to copy this prompt and paste it in the chat bot to the right. Then click one below and paste that prompt to write section one of your website. So the website we provide has three sections to it. So now it says it understands the task. Please instruct me to write the first section. So let's do that one and I'm going to paste it. So it's going to rewrite the copy that we've already provided in the website that we created for you. Now I'm going to create the second one. So this will write the second, rewrite the second section um, and it will keep your um, target market in mind and infuse it with that bias. So you now, now you have a more targeted set of copy for your website. Beautiful, okay. So now that we've already written your website co content, I am gonna jump over to create your terms of service. This should cover the usual liabilities, but you can specify areas of protection to below, <laughs> below to be sure it is covered. So I'm going to skip that part and jump straight in. So here's how this works. It's just gonna create a basic terms of service for your business based on your existing selection. And um, what you can do is actually drill down. So I'm gonna read this. Only click a number below if you want to expand on that section. So let's say we really, really want to drill down deep on your limitations of liability. So what, I, what I'm gonna do is tell it eight. And what this will do is give me a little bit more detail on that limit of liability. 
and rewrite eight. So now when you hand this off, you know, when you paste this into um, the Agency Pro or Agency CRM tab of your Sociomonials um, software, it's going to ask you what your terms of services are. You're going to be able to copy this and paste it directly in there. Just make sure if you drill down on any one of these sections, you remember to replace section eight in, the, in its entirety with the new expanded section eight, which is much more detailed. So now that we have our terms of service created, we are going to choose our company entity type. So this will recommend entity types based on the best protection and lowest taxes. If you have special requirements, you can enter them below. Like, you know, let's say you make a ton of money, like your, you and your wife make a ton of money, you know, so like you really want to focus on tax liability or tax um, benefits, or if you don't make any money outside of this business and you know you're going to be drawing money like crazy out of this, you might want to mention that you will be withdrawing all of the earnings from this company every tax period. You can enter that to bias it. Uh, let's do that here. I will be withdrawing all of the profits from this company each fiscal year. It will consider that when deciding on what to recommend. So these are what it recommends. Obviously, run this past an attorney, but this will give you a really nice basic um, recommendation and write-up of each type of entity. And what's cool about this is once you decide on an entity that you want, like let's say we just want to do um, see, a sole proprietorship is the easiest way to get started, you guys. Like it doesn't give you the best um, protection. It's not like a separate legal entity, but sole proprietorships are still pretty good. If you just want to get started quick and cheap, this is a way to get traction. And then you can always convert to a more protective entity like an LLC or a corporation. But th these are... This is the kind of advice you would get from an attorney and you could probably get through all of this in one hour because look it already gives you all of the information step by step to start your sole proprietorship so if there are any forms or anything it will actually write those for you as well and now that we have our entity selected i'm going to move on to the next step which is let's create a fomo intro offer um, in several of my videos over the past i've told you just how powerful it is to write a fear of missing out type of, you know, get it done quick offer, because these have proven for me to be the best way of generating new clients. So this will recommend offers that are in the highest demand from your targeted niche. So these offers will consider what your business offers and the targeted niche that you've selected. If you have special requirements, enter them below. And you shouldn't have a special requirement. Just give it a nice prompt here and let it go crazy. So these are the different offers it's going to recommend and you can always regenerate the list if you hate all of them. But um, just take a look at what it's recommending. Social media boost package, you know, sign up for a three month social media management package and receive a complimentary advertising campaign. I don't love that like brand launch. Are you launching a new product? This is more focused on a new company and our avatar is a 60 year old um, established realtor, so I don't love that. Um, let's see, refer a friend is kind of clever. Social media audit, wondering how your brand's social, it's gonna give you a little bit of copy, just so you can decide if that resonates with what you'd like to be offering. So wondering how your brand's social media presence stacks up against your comp competition. Sign up for our social media audit and receive a detailed report on your brand's social media performance and recommendations for improvement. Limited time offer, sign up by whatever date to take advantage of this exclusive offer. And you'd want to make sure that this is a free offer. I love this. The reason I like it is um, for our particular avatar, she might be wondering if what she's doing is right. She's probably tried several things so far because she's established, but this audit would be very attractive to her and it doesn't cost you anything to do it. Because remember, you can go and write an SOP on performing a social media audit for free instantly by clicking right here. So do it and run an audit for her and you know, you'll have a really great interaction with her. You will gain her um, trust. 
So when it's time for you to make your pitch, she'll probably go for a much higher priced package than she would otherwise sign up for before she gets to know you. So I'm definitely going for number five. I love number five. Don't forget this step. You need to tell it that you want to choose five. And what it will do is it will actually create the copy for you for your social media post to launch this offer. It'll create your blog post to launch this offer. It'll create an email to your existing database to launch this offer. And also it'll create the text for the pop-up that you create using the Socialmonials um, pop-up. So as you know, we have offer campaigns and that includes um, all of the code that you need to copy and paste into your landing page in order to have a nice pop-up that pops up if they attempt to leave your website without signing up. It's also gonna create a Facebook ad sample for you to use to get this offer pushed out there to your targeted audience. I highly recommend you do this, but for each one of these pieces of copy, this is only one example. What I would do if I were you, jump over to the um, ads and do a complete ad um, AI writer session just on ads. But before you do that, you're gonna wanna go through and update the company profile with all of the decisions that you've made here today. Um, so before I do that, I wanna do one thing and go to our final step. I told you before, I really want you to go through all nine steps. Um, create your launch plan. So what is your budget? This one is relevant. You have to enter something here. So let's say you only have $2,000 to launch your business. Enter that here. Try to add, try to spend at least a grand. I mean, you need to run some Facebook ads to get in front of a bunch of people to jumpstart your agency. So let's see how, and it does this in the style of Gary Vaynerchuk, and it's gonna create a very hands-on, detailed, tactical plan. This is not some boardroom presentation kind of a marketing plan. This is roll up your sleeves. I wanna start my business and get customers tomorrow kind of a plan. So it's thinking it through. It's kind of picking Gary Vayner Vaynerchuk's mind by looking through his body of work and it will make some recommendations. Of course, it's gonna have this issue. So let's just click reload and do it again. So what we need to do is go back to, I'm kind of glad that happened so I could show you the importance. You have to go back to your previous conversation and then do it again. Don't start a new chat. Otherwise it wouldn't take it into account all of those decisions we've made along the way. So always remember to go back to your conversation. So now look, we've got these tactical recommendations in the style of Gary Vaynerchuk. So tactic one, partner with influencers in your target niche. And I've actually seen him recommend this in videos I watch. Uh, create a referral program. This is a no brainer. You're gonna wanna do this no matter what. Uh, run, run a social media contest. Thank you, Gary, this is a great idea. We happen to um, have software that runs viral sweepstakes. So what I might do is just like select tactic three here for now and and I'm gonna follow my own advice and go through and read this. After the recommendations, choose a tactic below to generate an action plan to implement it. So all I have to do is click three, it's gonna copy that to clipboard and it will actually help me with the tactical plan to run this. So um, this is a great overview, but again, like I instructed you before, you would always wanna get the best possible advice by using the AI writer that you already have. So I would go, what I would do if I were you, um, I recommend going deeper and go to campaigns. And you would say um, campaigns, you can do it in the same session, that's fine. Um, but go ahead and switch to campaigns and go to Viral Sweepstakes Assistant and just go through your AI writer, list your objectives, like I'm starting in, I'm gonna really go down the rabbit hole, I'm not gonna do this, but you would just tell it that you're starting your um, uh, new agency and you want to capture new clients and let it go to work. But instead of doing that and boring you, I'm gonna go over to company profile and just remind you, this is the point where you would say, okay, now I need to go and select my industry, the industry I'm in, I am a social media marketing 
agency. Let's see, for, uh, let's see, commercial real estate brokers and describe your product or service. So what I would do is change this to, um, you know, I would probably go back to my messaging document, my positioning document and um, start with that. But I'm going to give you an idea of what you might say here. So let's see, we are a, let's see, we provide social media marketing services. Um, and detail some of the things that you're going to be doing in your pricing plans. You would want to indicate here what the services are that you've selected that you're going to be offering commercial realtors. Um, so, and you would also enter what makes you distinctive, like you offer campaigns when others don't mention in here that you have affordable services and long-term plans. Um, so whatever makes your service unique that you decide on, make sure it's entered here. Um, do you have a physical location? I would, if in this case, you're running an agency. So I would say no, um, because it's really not relevant. You can deliver services anywhere you want. Um, and it already knows uh, your location. So what is your primary call to action? Uh, visit our website. Um, and you would replace this with that whatever website you choose. What is your brand voice? Again, you're going to want to revisit that positioning document that we created and make those decisions here. Um, like if it's witty, professional, it's probably going to be professional because you selected commercial realtors. And then ChatGPT, I, I would assume if you want to use something else like Bing Chat, um, go ahead and enter the chatbot URL of Bing uh, and you could use that instead and click save. That's the end of this demo because now if you ever want to promote your company, and I'm going to show you this because it's so important. This is not where the journey ends. This is kind of where it starts. So you can always go back. So whenever you go to, whenever you're in your agency dashboard, uh, it's going to default to your company. So your company should be here. And if it's not, you want to go over to the very top Let's let it load. I think we have like a hundred different workspaces. The very top one is always, and the reason it's highlighted, it's always gonna be your agency. So at this point, you'd wanna go into agency settings, change your agency name to Propeller. That's very important. Um, and just check your information. It should already be okay, except, oh, look at this. Our industry, we need to change. Um, we are actually, this isn't the industry you're targeting. It's the industry you're in. first of all, let it save this new company name. So, okay. So our agency name is Propeller. The industry we're in, um, it doesn't get very detailed here. Um, I believe the best fit is um, business, unfortunately. We are going to be adding the ability to customize your industries, but this isn't nearly, and that's where we probably would have wanted to <laughs> update our... Um, URL, our website. Just keep in mind that even though we've updated industry here, all that really matters is that in our AI writer, it has the correct um, industry. So I'm going to jump back into the AI writer. And what I, the reason I wanted to show you this is whenever you go to your dashboard, it defaults to your agency workspace. So note, we are in our agency workspace. So if we ever want to market our agency, which is I want you to be doing 80% of the time you're spending on this business, should be growing your business. So you should be writing daily social media posts. You should be writing blogs at least weekly. So just jump into the AI writer and know that it's already going to have your information in here. So when you're writing blogs, it's to promote your agency, not to promote your clients. So remember, when you go to your company profile, it still has the correct industry. It's got what makes your agency different. Um, and again, the reason I'm showing you that is so every single day you should be marketing your business. Um, another really great one, see you're in blogs now, go over to the script writer every single day, video scripts, and make sure you're utilizing the script writer. So it has like inspirational selfie videos, um, stay motivation and focused. 
you can create a custom one for whatever you think is important to um, realtors. You know, you might want to change this from stay motivated and focused to grow your commercial real estate practice. And I am going to generate, you know, I'm going to include, don't include a call to action in these. These are really designed to get a following on TikTok. So what you would do then is take this and you can do this in a new chat. That's fine. You don't need to keep going on that same startup conversation, but this is just an example. I won't bore you to death. I promise. So we're going to go through and create these daily um, scripts that I can read out on TikTok. So the power of visual, visual, visualization, developing a positive mindset, creating a plan for success. Like I'm going to choose number three, paste it. So now I have something that I can read into my smartphone um, and record and post to TikTok. And it's going to start developing a following if I do this every day of commercial real estate professionals. Don't skip this step. Um, anyway, I'm really... I'm getting into the weeds here. Um, those are video scripts. Go through all of the different ones. Promote your practice. And at the end of this, um, I just want to refocus on start your agency if you haven't already. If you have, promote it daily. And if you've done that to the point where you have traction in your industry, start a new target niche and start another landing page to start scaling into another niche and get yourself known in that niche as well. That's how you're gonna start and grow your agency to something that's successful. I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, go to the Facebook group for Agency Pro subscribers and sign up. And there's a whole community of people that wanna see you succeed. I am just one small member of that big community. So please come join us and let's talk about what it's going to take to get you to that next point in your agency. Thank you.